for God, and he just always come in with you. He go, okay. Me, you, and all your friends, family, brothers, sisters, that we all gonna go in the fire. We'll see who come out on the other side. And this is what happened. But then when you come out, you know what is resurrection? Life. This is the process. You see? This is the pro this is the part of Christianity the church of kind of like talk about. Oh, we like God is love, God is forgiveness, God is mercy. God is sanctification. <laughs> Ephesians 1, 18 to 19, you will never know the hope to which he called you for and set you apart unless you pass through what? Death. Sanctification. If that, you can always go, oh God have a good life for me, God's going to want to do great things. Let's see if you'll accomplish it if you don't pass through the cross. Never. Mm. Ephesians 1, 3 says, every good gift you know that, is in heaven. True Christ is ready for us. Here's the secret. To get it, they got to pass through the cross. If you refuse to reckon yourself dead and will not bear the mark of death because you don't want to um, be stand out as a Christian, as God's servant, then let's see. Therefore, you can't present yourself to God. Let's see if you can accomplish Ephesians 1.3. Well, not death. You yes. say what saying, uh, um, Christ has got to become alive in you. Yes. Uh, yes, in truth, yes, yes, that's what you're trying to say, but you need to equally reckon yourself dead, because what's, stop, you're, what's stopping it is because you won't reckon yourself dead. If you're going, Christ has to become alive in me, but you won't let him crucify you, it stops it. But Christ has to become yeah. alive in you, to reign mm -hmm. in you, alive. Yeah. But is that because you're, the old you is dead? Yes, it should. But the Bible said, the Bible teaches us, he said, you have to reckon. So God, you have to agree with me. You know, it's, a, it's like, it's like um, baptism. You, go, you have to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. Mm -hmm. So you go, I want you to declare your death to you. Like you and him. Not necessarily you got to tell anybody. But with God, you got to tell God. Say, Lord, I agree with you. You are past sentence. Say, I was baptized into Jesus' death. And I must know that I die. Therefore, I reckon myself dead to present myself to you. And once you can do this, you believe it and you know it. it should, then watch what immediate you will know once you believe it. Because all of a sudden, the elimination what? Begins. Yeah. Okay, immediately God, like he goes to death, the cross, eliminate all the things that can't pass through life. And God starts to eliminate the people, the things, and the situation of their life. Very quickly, they start to go. All the things that used to linger. What has happened? In fact, you, uh, then we didn't read it. The next scripture, as you know, it's the same thing in Psalms 110. The Bible says, Jesus, who was now seated at the right hand of God. Because Jesus seated at the right hand, at this point, he don't come down, he don't come up. What happened when you pass through death, where you are, people that want to be in death can't what? Come. They, yes, they can't go where you're, where you're sitting anymore. You have gone to a place where they can't reach you anymore. Because this is what creates the separation. Amen. May blessing, praise, laudation, and eulogy be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, who has blessed us in Christ with everything, with every spiritual, given by the Holy Spirit, blessing in the heavenly realm. So your blessing is in the heavenly realm. The Bible says, yes, bless you in Christ with every blessing in the heavenly realm. So do you think you get it? Christ will come to the heavenly realms. Mm -hmm. So what happened when you, when you enter life, where he put you, the people and things can't come. They can't come. Mm -hmm. exactly what happened. God passes you through the cross. Mm -hmm. Amen. A life as one, a life from the dead. And bring you into the heavenly place in Jesus, where he has all the blessings. This is the place we reign Sometime the Lord been trying to get you to take your place. It's in the heavenly place. But no death can come there. No death passes through the cross. Everything of Adam dies. After the flood, nothing of the old creation survived except eight. It takes you to a place where the only thing you will see, it's Ebra. Those who are alive. Those who are alive. This is where you go, in the process of coming, you go, some will lose mother, some will lose sister, some will lose brother, some will lose husband, some will lose children. But to those that lose, I will give what? A hundred times more brothers and sisters and mothers and, mm. and so forth. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen.
And so it is. Amen. That's just the way it is. But it's the only way you'll be in a position to help humanity. If not, you're constantly... Sometimes we think we're helping them by staying in the death, not, not going through. But then, you can't give them nothing, they can't give you nothing. It's just one death to the death, one infection to the next. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this night in the name of Jesus. Oh, you are to be praised, glorified, and magnified. Oh, how we adore you. Lord, you are the merciful God. You are the one true living God, the exalted, the one who must be magnified, glorified, and exalted throughout all the eternity. How we love to praise thy holy name. Father, to you tonight we look. You are the one who has been preparing us, Father. You are the one that called us and set us apart. You are the one, Father, by the blood of Jesus, Father, atoned for us. Give us entrance, access into you. You are the one, Father, that baptized us, according to Romans 6, 3, into the death of Jesus. You are the one, according to Romans 6, 6, that you must know beyond a shadow of death that you die. You are baptized into the death with Jesus. If Jesus died, you die because I have placed you inside of Jesus. Just like as Jesus at the right hand of me, you are the right hand because you are inside Jesus. I have bestowed every heavenly blessing upon Jesus and because you are in him, you get every heavenly blessing. Oh Father, you are the one who say, therefore, after we come to know and understand, reckon, agree with me that we have died. And we have accepted such a sentence. We have accepted such a declaration. We have accepted such a verdict. And Lord, as a result, Father, just like Jesus, Father, in Hebrews, He present Himself to you, so we, your children, your sons and daughters, according to Galatians 4, you see, you took the same Spirit that is in Jesus and placed it in us so that we can become your sons and your daughters. Go here with Jesus, sharing His inheritance with Him. Only we must share in His suffering. So, Father, because of this, we, the one who passed through the cross and died, now are presented to you as one alive from the dead, Father. Oh, Lord, what a wonderful process. What a miraculous process. What an awesome creation. What an awesome outline. How great is thy mercy. Amen. Father, and as we present ourselves to you habitually in your presence, remaining in Jesus, because you have placed us in Jesus, we are producing much fruit to yes. thy glory. Yes. And we are yes. reigning through the life of the resurrection. Yes. Lord, tonight we thank you for the fellowship, Lord. Father, whatsoever we lost, Father, does not compare to the glory you have Amen. for us, Father. Yes. Whatsoever suffering we are going through does not compare yes. to the glory you are bestowing Hallelujah. upon us. Hallelujah. Father, preserve your saints. Hallelujah. Keep them moving in alignment with your purposes, plan, thoughts, will, and actions. Filling them with the Holy Spirit and leading them by the Holy Spirit. Breaking them away from all the control and the conformities. The conforming ways and father systems of this world by habitually renewing the entirety of their mind with the knowledge of yes. Jesus, lifting them to that height and stature. One day they shall be measured. Hallelujah. Open their eyes and their mind that they keep on seeing and perceiving, hearing, knowing, and understanding, and feeling with their heart and comprehending. Lord, direct their heart habitually into your love. Grant them the grace to realize it, to show it, and to receive abundantly Christ, patience and persevere. Let your faith do a thorough work in their life. Let endurance come to come, please. Let steadfastness come to come, please, Father. In the name of Jesus. Let patience be thoroughly wrought through their being, Father. Father, we thank you as you have bring them to the brink to understand baptism. Thoroughly, Father, let them know through the baptism, through the death and burial of Jesus, Father, they have come to know a steadfast peace, Father. Amen. They have come to have a clear conscience, Father. No fluctuating back and forth, my Father. No fear or agitation, but they shall be in peace and clarity and steadfastness and endurance, Father. And able to walk in alignment with your purposes, will, thought and action, glorifying and magnifying in all they'll be. Oh, Father, you are consistently establishing their life by releasing your Son to complete himself through them in the name of Jesus. Lord, tonight we glory in you. Tonight we say, magnify yourself in all the prosperities in our life. Yes, Lord. Oh Lord, you have called us and set us to this position in such a time, Father. You say, I have called you and set you apart, Father, to a hope so Jesus can flood us with his light. Yes, Lord. 
Father, I thank you for preserving the saints and their ministry and the work you're doing in their life. Establish, Father, according to Psalm 90, verse 70, establish the work of their hands through your son. Father, grant them the grace that though you pass them through the cross, and the cross shall eliminate all that is not life. Though you shall give them a hundred times, a thousand times more. What they, the loss they suffer does not compare to the glory you are bestowing upon them. According to Romans 3, 23, you, say, you are the God that bestow glory and honor. Lord, you so want to bestow glory and honor upon your church. Help them to be steadfast. Lord, have your way with our ministry. Have your way with the body of Christ. We commit all things into thy hands in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we say, Amen. Amen. Amen.